गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास आम गोविंद व्यास टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्लास टेंथ चैप्टर लाइट दिस इज रिलेटेड टू सब्जेक्ट साइंस द चैप्टर नंबर नाइन ओके सो इन दिस चैप्टर देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ टॉपिक्स वी नीड टू स्टडी दिस इज वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट चैप्टर ऑफ आवर सिलेबस ओके सो वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम एक्सट्रीमली बेसिक थिंग्स वाट द चैप्टर नेम इज लाइट so firstly i would like that you stop this video for a minute and think in your own words try to answer in your own words that how will you define light how can you give the definition of light in the simple words okay fine so now i wish you have gone through as i told you now it's my turn to answer that what is the definition of light in extremely easy manner or i can say also correct from the scientific point of view okay so how will we define light in science light is a type of energy right light is a type of energy which gives us sense of vision right so what is the definition of light you can note down light is a type of energy which gives us the sense of vision again i am saying this energy helps us or gives us ability to see the objects around us so it is a type of energy to whom which we call light clear i hope your definition is clear now the another topic is sub uh, properties of light there are so many properties of light firstly we will study them these are the general uh, properties i i wish that you may also be familiar with them already you must have studied them in the previous classes you must have uh, read about them somewhere else right so let me introduce those properties with you or make you familiar with those properties again so what is the first property of light the first property of light is light always travels in the straight path right suppose this is a source of light so many rays are coming from here but i am just studying one ray light will always move in the straight manner it will not bend light will not go like this no it will not move like this light always travels in the straight path right until or unless it does not reflect from any other object or refract we will study these terms in the later on chapters but firstly you must know light always travels in the straight path the first property second property is light does not require any medium to travel that means to say there are so many mediums solid liquid gas a material point of view right uh, from the material point of view there are three three mediums solid liquid and gas fourth i can say vacuum so light requires no medium to travel just like sound sound always require a medium to travel if there is suppose this is the camera and i am speaking from here and i am not using this microphone if i will speak only my lips will uh, looks moving to you but my voice will not reach to you why because there is vacuum in between us i am standing here there are number of students in my class for example and i am speaking something take an ideal condition that there all the air has been wept out from this class there is no vacuum in uh, there is no air in this class but or, or and when i speak in that condition when the uh, room is in vacuum mode when i will speak the children will not listen even little bit of my voice only my lips will uh, look them moving but my voice, uh, my sound will not reach them why because sound always require some medium to travel whether that is solid liquid or gas but that is not the case with the light if there is medium light will travel if there is no medium in spite of it 
light will travel let me give you an example there is sun a big source of light this is earth yes what is there between sun and earth is there any air any uh, solid liquid nothing there is no medium there is vacuum right in spite of that light from sun reaches to the earth doesn't it it reaches right light from sun reaches to the earth how does it reach because the light does not require any medium to travel if there is medium it will move if there is not in spite of that it will move okay so this is the second property light requires no medium to travel these are the true pro two properties the third one white light what which is white light this colorless light around us the light of bulb white bulb the light of sun this white light is made up of seven colors this light is made up of seven colors which colors the colors of rainbow you must know vibgyor vibgyor violet indigo blue green yellow orange red white light is always made of these seven colors this is the third property of light and the last property is the light has the maximum speed in the universe no object so far known travels faster than light how fast just imagine just Im imagine 100 km per second 200 km per second 500 km per second let me give you the exact data uh, not exact almost data light travels less zeros add one more zero three lakh kilometer per second this is the speed of light C can you imagine this in one second light is moving three kilometer three lakh kilometers three lakh is a massive length you must uh, visualize this in one second when how, how far i can move how far you can move in one second i can move like this just this but light 3 lakh kilometer suppose where will it reach no so you can visualize how fast is light so these are the four properties of light okay all the four properties i hope you have noted down and you must not have any doubt anyways now our next topic the third one how do we see objects how we are able to see objects with the help of light firstly uh, note this thing that there are two things required the most to see the objects there are two things which are required to see the objects which two things the first is our eyes eyes basic and another thing is light itself so these are the two things which requires to see the objects how let me give you an example suppose we do not have eyes like a blind person a blind person does not have eye how much light how dim or how bright light you throw on him towards him he can never see the objects why he is not having the eyes so to see an object you require eyes the first thing the second case is light you are having a six by six vision that means to say you have extremely healthy eyes right but there is full darkness in the room there is nothing not even a single point of light so will you be able to see the objects absolutely not you will not see the objects why because there is the absence of light only darkness is there okay so to see the objects you must have eyes proper vision and you must have light only in this case you are able to see the objects fine but now we have to study that how do we see the objects how am i how am i able to see this camera how am i able to see this door this blackboard this marker these things uh, furniture around me all the walls all the beautiful paintings done in this room how am i able to see these objects 
एंड हाउ आर यू एबल टू सी द ऑब्जेक्ट्स अराउंड यू राइट हाउ कैन वी सी दैट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द साइंस बिहाइंड इट्स yes suppose this is a source of energy for example i have taken a bulb this is a bulb this is a source of energy let me write here source of energy let me write light the exact word this is a source of light like it may be bulb it may be tube light cfl uh, or the sun itself it, this is a source of light for example i am taking a bulb so what does the bulb do it emits or releases lights in all the light in the all the direction absolutely the bulb releases light in all the direction light goes out from it on in all the directions for example there is a book placed here a book is placed here okay here is a book fine this is a book and here i am standing i am just drawing our eyes okay this is our eye assume this is an our this is our eye this is a book this is our eye we are standing here this is our eye assume this so when the light comes out from this source of light it goes in all the directions right some part of light will also reach the book yes some part of light will also reach the book and uh, this light after striking this object will also spread in all the direction i will define this how how this is called when some part of light touches this book and after touching its surface the light moves in all the directions right yes like i was saying when the light reaches this book or any object placed here it will scatter it will spread in all the directions right when it spreads in all the direction or scatter in all the directions some of its part will reach to our eyes some of its part has just reached into our eyes and as it reaches to our eyes we are able to see this object are you clear with this so how can we see the objects from any source of light light reaches to all the objects around it right and from those objects light reflect what is reflection i will explain you when light bounces back from all those objects and some of that bounced light reflected light reaches to our eyes we can see that object like suppose that there is a, 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 this is the camera i am taking the live example this is the camera i am speaking in front of there is a bulb from this bulb light came on to this camera right and from this camera light go went into all the directions but some part also came into my eyes and when it comes to my eyes i can see the object this is the science behind
i hope that you are clear up to this the next topics will be discussed in the next lecture so if you are having any doubts regarding the uh, topics we studied today you can ask us okay fine till then like this channel share and subscribe thank you